how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. This is another one of those talks I like having with you guys. Today we're literally gonna talk about trying to find that YouTube niche or niche however you pronounce it and it's the hardest thing like I still struggle with this and I still don't know exactly what it is for me but it's super important they always say if you can't tell what your movie's about in like 15 words then you don't really know what your movie's about I think that's the same thing with this like with the YouTube channel which is horrible because now that I think about it like what's mine about I always say mine are like home videos. They're like we're exploring, like basically exploring. Like how would I explain to somebody? If somebody was like, oh, what's your YouTube channel? My channel is about going to new places, exploring, but also having like that home video feel. Creating memories. I don't know, that's how I explain it. And it, exploring is something that I'm trying to push in this channel more and more because like really encapsulates everything that my channel is about like we've traveled we've gone to different places you know like the camp uh, we had an rv across the country i mean it doesn't happen every weekend and we're not doing like bali trips and we're not doing hawaii trips but we're still exploring so i mean like look at this place this is amazing like this is fuck that's pretty cool this is literally 10 minutes from my house which is super wild so if you're if you're trying to find your niche um how do you do it i have no idea i i mean i think what i would do is i would look around the house like look at the things that you're buying online look at the things that you own um, write down a long list of things that first of all excite you like what are you passionate about just keep writing it down and seeing if anything pops out like for me, this traveling thing for sure would have been on that list towards the top. So I think I would have probably hit this at, if I was starting the channel like tomorrow or something like that. By the way, can we just appreciate how there's no snow and literally last Wednesday, it was like filled. I was like literally taking steps into like four feet of snow everywhere. Step, and because the camera's in my right hand and my camera fell, Look on your Amazon account. If you have an Amazon account, look at what you're buying on Amazon. See see if like there's anything that stands out or look at like things that are popular. Like like do it in reverse. Like let's say you're you're starting a channel and obviously you want to get it monetized. You want to get sponsors eventually at some point and people to give you free money. <laughs> but if you work backwards, you kind of see like oh, like maybe like certain things will like interests you and be like oh this company is you know i didn't even think of this like i could do this i could do that like uh you know like exploring like that's the word exploring maybe we i could reach out to a knapsack company saying hey we do a lot of like you know traveling is there a chance that we can you know work with you guys to do a sponsored post and stuff like that i mean that's really far down the line if you're starting a channel for the first time but it's still something you need to keep in mind because I don't know, like eventually you want to get there, right? So you might as well start now. I saw this little graph that said, do you have knowledge on it? Do you love it? And how profitable is it? And then between the three, there's this like little like middle ground. And that middle ground is where, is where you want to be. I don't know if that helps, <laughs> but picture three circles. The other thing is I, I read that you really want to make sure that whatever you pick also has some kind of future, you know? And knowing what kind of future, it's, it's if you look at Google Trends, it kind of tells you, it explains to you what's really popular right now and where does it kind of lead in the future? I mean, you can see it if it's if it's going up, you know, if it's leveling out or is it, is it declining, you know? That could be a good idea. I mean, Google Trends, looking it up, uh, keyword, is there any of these things work um, do you think any of these will be profitable for you? I mean the thing that's the thing that's funny and the thing that kind of like stands out for me is Like will this be like what the video I'm making right now? Will I be able to make? 50 of these in the future and it's it sometimes that creates anxiety and we're always talking about like keeping your 
mental health in check, but at the same time, it's like 50 videos from now, will I be able to walk in this wilderness by myself talking to you about anything? For me, I could do it. I think I could do it. That's something that you want to think about when you start your channel or if you're with the channel already or your, you know, your videos you're posting, the topic, can it continue? Even like, oh, oh, there's another really cool trick. If you go on Google and you type in traveling, let's say, right? We're talking about traveling, exploring, whatever. If you scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, it says uh, related materials or related searches. And then they give you other searches that are off that search and it becomes more specific. And that could help inspire. It might give you some idea of what you wanna do. Cause it's one thing to just say explore, but explore what? I don't think I'm alone in this forest anymore. So I looked some up, right? So for me, I was thinking exploring. So exploring could be like hikes, right? We're doing a hike right now, kind of. Um, ew. So if I, so I looked at the bottom of the Google search and it says hikes, I was like, yes. Then it said hikes difficulty. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I could do like a YouTube channel on like doing like different difficulty, different difficulty of hikes, like easy ones, medium, like medium ones or hard ones. And then like people were like, they would be tuned in for that kind of thing to know like your take on hikes. There's like, you can do, only talking about hikes right now, right? Hikes near me, you know, like maybe like local hikes, like location based. People always look up stuff like that. Or waterfall hikes. Maybe you specialize in waterfall hikes, like only for waterfalls. I don't know. These are like, they're, it's interesting because I never, like, I've never seen a video talking about niche before. Like, I'm sure there is a lot, but I, it's one of the things that just drives me crazy because it's like, what's your niche? I, I think I know. Is it profitable? I have no idea. I hope so. Anyways, what are your thoughts? Write down in the comments below. Tell me what your niche is for your channel. I want to know. Give me 15. Give me your elevator speech. Hopefully you guys like these kind of videos. You guys keep your vlog life alive. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next week for another, next week, probably in Saturday. I'll see you Saturday. Peace.